Okay, everybody, it's a mail call. And uh, other assorted oddities. And a little personal announcement. I think I may be finally ready to make, but let's start off with the mail call. Shares, Shars had a little sale on their economy one, two, three blocks. So I got six of them. I came in, the sale was um, three boxes, three sets for us. Uh, Low low thirty dollars, uh, less than I think maybe thirty four dollars for three boxes. I just rounded off to ten dollars a set, and you know these are always going to come in handy for setups. And uh, so I got three sets for myself, and uh, maybe four for myself, and a couple a couple sets uh, for gifts. And uh, they are threaded. Let's see. They are threaded uh, in every other hole, I guess. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one in the middle. So seven. Um, I, I, I've not often have I. Um, had the need to uh, screw any of these together, but you can, you know, make a. You should be able to make an angle. Sure, you can. Uh, dumpster diving. I um, found this piece of aluminum. Vice jaw. And that is, do we measure that yet? No, we haven't. When the width fits my vise. It's um, a little over six inches. This thing is um, about four inches tall. And, uh, you know, it would enable me to I could put this here and bolt that on and, and make this uh, give myself a, a wider a wider grip or you know, whatever I, I, I don't have enough experience to, to tell you I don't have enough experience to tell you exactly how and how useful this might be in some situations for setups but um now uh, i forget who it was, no, it was uh, randy richards i think made uh, did a video i haven't watched it yet on uh, bench blocks he made a bench block and i would love to make i would love to be able to give my son a bench block for his um, for working on his handguns. So here's a nice piece of steel here. It's um, I'm gonna say it's six inches, a little greater than six by two and three quarters, and it's an inch and a quarter thick. So I'm thinking I'll do the. Um, I think we'd do the V going across this way and then have a series of holes here. And pretty much going to copy whatever Randy Richards did on his. So I'll watch that video. And, and then I'd like to possibly send this out and um, have it surface ground uh, before I send it on. And um, Haxby's Shed, Paul, made a comment about um, my transfer screws. And I got a couple jars. This is almost all half 13. There's some 3 8s in there. 
And then there's some smaller sizes here. And I think there might be... I think I could probably come up with... Um, with four, four, si four sizes. So it would be a set of four random diameters. And I'm going to send it over to him. I also got him something else. I um, will probably show in the near future. Maybe I won't show it at all. Um, so, um, you know, you, you wonder... Is he ever gonna? Is Kimber ever going to mount this um, this adapter plate? So this is what the T nut looks like. This is one of the original T nuts from the um, from the South Bend. Uh, they don't work. They're not long enough for this application. But this is kind of how it's gonna how it's gonna work. You know, this will lock into the ring and, and then there will be a nut under here that can draw that tight and that will hold that to the base of the machine. And then the Conda power mill head will attach here with, um, with 4 half 13. bolts so I uh, got my original one I had to dismount the original one transfer some numbers and then remount it to do the machining on this one well this thing is trammed almost perfectly and rigidity is, is there as well because it's the first time I was able to tighten down all four screws so I'm. Uh, it's kind of like if it ain't if it ain't broke, you know, don't fix it. But then maybe again, it's more uh, you know apprehension that uh, it's not gonna work. You know, I, I, I I messed up somewhere. You know, got the whole pattern wrong, or which I don't believe is the case. I, I've measured and remeasured, and so this ought to be this ought to be good to go. Oh, there we go. Let's see what you're seeing here. You stay there. Push this button and see what you're looking at. So, yeah, we're ready to go. Got, you know, one cut out here, which is, which is freaking perfect. And this one's a little off center, but I can still get my wrench on it. And this one's a little off center. I can still get my wrench on it. And this one here is just, just butchery. And I could probably clean that up a little bit, but. No one's ever going to see it. You know, all you're going to see from the side, like in this, all you're going to see is is these uh, these recesses, and of course the thickness of the plate. So there it is without the recesses, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're good to go. I had to re. I had to uh, redrill the whole pattern for the head bolts, so I blocked. I capped these off with the. Uh, actually, I used transfer screws, put them in upside down, and I should have put. I should have put these transfer screws in also upside down, but uh, it, it didn't occur to me till after I already Loctite these in, but that's all subsurface, it's not going to matter. 
And it really probably wasn't even necessary. But um, if you're going to screw up, you might as well dress it up at, at the same time, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Very happy with, uh, with the way that came out. Once again. And then we got this piece here, which is going to replace my compound on the lathe uh, for the for the sake of rigidity. So I got a T nut there. I need to I need to drill and tap for my uh, quick change tool post. And um, I believe I'll have, um, you know, hide my wound. Um, I believe I'll come up with uh, more uses for this. Um, oh, who was it? Made a dent. Use something I had. To, I believe I can get um, work out a duplicator and put on here or a tracing tool. A tracing attachment, maybe, or maybe tracing isn't the exact word, but um, something that'll follow the contour and, uh, and shape the metal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>